Hey everyone, Moses here. Welcome to the second video in the PUBG University series, where we are going to be focusing on the early game. The first thing I want to show you is this map made by ShatterNL. A link to this map is in the description of this video. This map highlights the high efficiency loot zones and has a ton of other great information. It's a great resource overall. When you're in the plane, you can immediately see what direction the plane is traveling even before you actually start moving. Planning your jump is almost as important as the area of the map you're jumping into. I would not recommend jumping out of the plane as early as possible because you'll wind up surrounded by other players which will significantly decrease your chances of survival. One of my favorite spawns is the late military base spawn, which occurs when the plane is traveling north to south and you jump out last over the military base. The coastal cities are also pretty good for late spawns, but if all else fails, jumping out of the school can be a fairly reliable spawn if you're a decent player with a little bit of luck on your side. When you're on the way down, it's important to use your outlook to count the players landing with you. This will allow you to anticipate how many players might be in the area, as well as give you a general idea as to what direction they might be coming from. When you land, your first priority is to find a gun. It sounds simple, but RNG can be unforgiving in some situations, which will lead you to exiting the game early. Pistols are by far the worst option, but are better than nothing. I'm personally partial to the pump shotgun. Now, this is a personal preference and is certainly not the best choice, but when fighting in a place like the school, it can be devastating. I like to outfit my shotgun with a choke to increase its range. Ultimately, the best early game guns are probably the Uzi, the Saiga, the UMP, as they all have high damage potential and high fire rates. The Uzi and the UMP especially, since they share an ammo type. Even though looting is an important part of the early game, eliminating other players is far more important. Enemy players are the best source of loot in the early game because they have the same mission as you do. Ultimately, the more players you kill in the early game, the faster you'll be able to complete looting and start planning your next move. A note about looting. Uh, there is definitely a limit on to how much time you should spend looting initially. Obviously, everyone wants the best gear as quickly as possible, but ignoring enemy players to loot instead gives away any potential advantage you might gain by being aggressive. You might as well eliminate them now so they don't come back to haunt you. There are two schools of thought I generally adhere to when finishing my looting and looking to plan my next move. To increase your chances of winning significantly, you could look to ride the circle, which means you will plan your next move depending on where the first safe zone, depicted by the white circle, begins. When playing the circle, you will camp at the edge of the safe zone, taking out enemy players at the border and allowing the other players to kill each other while the safe zone slowly shrinks. If you're simply looking to win, this strategy is fairly effective, but is subjective to what is called circle luck. That's a concept I'll cover in a later video. If you're looking for a more adventurous style of play, you could look to find a vehicle and simply drive to an advantageous area deep inside of the play zone and start looking for other players to kill. If you're new to the game or are uncomfortable or nervous regarding confrontation with other players, this is a great style to hone your gunfighting skills and is generally more exciting. I employ a mix of these two styles depending on the early game. Of course, I don't have all the answers to every scenario, but I encourage you to play with whatever style you enjoy the most. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. There will be more like it coming soon, uh, but until then, I hope you, if you liked the video, you hit that like button and subscribe to me on YouTube for more content like this in the future. Of course, I encourage everyone to come and visit me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash WTFMoses. Thank you for your viewership. I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, I will see you guys out there.